Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome to Pharaoh Iron and Customs. All right, today I'm gonna be out here uh, trying to get this lower engine splash shield uh, slash. Uh, I don't know if it's called a valance or what. I was having some problems, uh, you know, finding a good picture of what it looked like. I think it's got a couple of breaks in it. I mean, it's gonna have to for the way it, <clears throat> for it to bolt the way it does, wants to needs to. So what I what I've done is I pretty much took and have flattened the whole shape back out, um, and I'm gonna carry it over here to um, a piece of sheet metal and line it up and trace around it the best I can and cut it out. So um, I'm gonna get on that. And uh, I'm gonna let this camera charge because it says it's got oh well it's got it says 10 minutes but still I'm gonna let it charge a little bit and uh, then uh, we'll come back all right I got this cut out and kind of shaped um, I got it marked out where the louvers need to go um, I need to take that line off uh, it doesn't need to be any I think it needs to be broken higher like I said, it's really hard to tell. Um, that thing is rusted out, and I know it's got to have some break in it. It's got to fold down, and then these have got to be broken a little bit. But I'm not sure what the bottom's gonna do. So I'm gonna go on and break these up and break these down just a little bit and uh these are going to have to be broken too but i'm not going to be able to break them in the break because i don't have a finger break so i'm going to get this done and i'll come back okay guys i'm seriously not hating it um that's what i did there's a little bit of trouble spot right here where it changed directions in the bend it may should have been as far over as this piece where this cutout is to help with uh, shaping. That's probably the reason why those cutouts are there. So I'm gonna break these down and see how it lines up. I need to take some measurements and see what I can come up with and uh, I'm gonna break those and I'll come back. All right guys, um, well, I'm kind of out of the picture, but anyway, I've got, this is the basic shape of what it needs to be. I struggled a little bit with this area, and if I had it to do again, I'd make a template of what the front of the car looks like uh, right there under the engine support so I could get this right. The only measurement that you can really take is from the center and it's probably going to have to have some reshaping because the bolt holes are just a little far um, forward and it's just it's going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it in there but I thought I'd go ahead and get this set up uh, because I didn't do the louvers uh, uh, in uh, 18 gauge I did the louvers in uh, 22 gauge material. Did I cut those too long? Huh. Thought I measured that at five and a half. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm just tripping out. Been a long day, guys. Been a long day. Let me grab my. Let's make this first one.
Position. Let's do this again. Oh, not that much. Da, 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 da. What happened? There it is. <laughs> All right, this is take three. That is definitely harder than 22 gauge. I'm gonna set up and do the other one, and I had intended on doing a modification of this tool over there and uh, knock these uh, edges off because it so it don't mark up the inside. I'm gonna get this uh, done and I'll set it up on the car and come back. All right, guys, it's in there. I got the um, louvers in the pan and uh it's got to have just a little more shaping but i think that's pretty much close to the right shape it may need this to be rolled up just a little bit on the edges and i'm not i'm not i'm not totally unhappy with it um actually i'm tickled with it because that's the first time i've ever made a panel of this size and of this complexity um, there's some things I would do different like I said I would come in and make a template so I could get these lines a little better uh, messed up on that and uh, I probably would go ahead and make a uh, go ahead and make a a um, cardboard template for the whole thing because it looks like this could actually probably come up higher here and it could come up higher here and, be, and break more there so um but i didn't have anything to go on much so anyway like i said i'm tickled uh, uh like and subscribe leave a comment down below i had a uh, interesting comment today about the english wheel uh, and we'll do a follow-up on that when i get some bottom anvils for it uh Someone told me that the uh, dies, of course, I knew the Harbor Freight dies were no longer available, but I think you can get the dies from Eastwood and they're the same or will fit the machine. I don't know. I was planning on using the uh, Jegs dies, but it looks like they're different. I'm not so sure that I'm not going to see if I can't find the specs on the Jegs, Jegs dies and go ahead and order them and see if they can't be modded. Um, for my purpose so uh anyway like i said like and subscribe and let's see what's today february daily 17 we're over halfway there so see y'all tomorrow